been, like I said earlier, I'm here at my 40th high school reunion, uh, sitting in the Hilton Hotel in Windsor, Ontario, overlooking the river in Detroit. Again, if you just picked up on this video, there's the view. And, uh, um, again, trying to stop my world, and people say, what do you do? And I say, well, I was a chiropractor, but I don't do that anymore. And I'm, I'm not sure what to say to people. I know that the work I do changes people's lives, but that sounds so trite and so self-important uh, that I'm sitting here trying to say to you, how, what do I do? I, what do I do on a weekend is a profound amount of nothing. I found a, out a way, not the lack of something. I'm always doing something in a weekend, but I'm really doing nothing, not doing, sitting in a state of not doing, just kind of people's... I was working in Barcelona. They said, why do you tell stories? I said, because it's how I not do. So what I said, my mentor knew a bunch of data, and he would fill in the blank spaces, or he wouldn't. He would sit quietly in the room, which I don't do very well. Uh, so I tell stories, uh, and a lot of times they are seemingly unconsciously relevant, even though sometimes people don't see the relevance. As I'm telling the story, I'll see the relevance in it. Uh, they won't, but I really don't care, because I know it's getting in at some level. And but. Uh, to sit and say, well, I, I don't do, I don't, I do a lot of nothing, which I do, and it alters people's lives, it changes how they uh, perceive their reality, and I'm looking to see how to do it here. What do I say to people that they go, oh, I need a dose of that? Uh, I know uh, my friend Richard is coming to do my class, but he's been successful, sold a company, uh, and finds it soothing, as I do, to work for pleasure. Um, he's renovating a house here that is partially his, but he, the responsibility has fallen to him. And, uh, and my mom said to him yesterday, you know, how are you doing? He said, boy, she, she said, you like being down here in your own. He said, boy, there's something soothing and relaxing about it. I don't have to answer to anybody, and I can work at my pace and do what I want. And you could see the soothing, relaxing sense that he was, that he was experiencing. It's, it's refreshing. But he's a at a point in his life, and he's going to do a class because he's, I think, wondering what comes next. And while I can't tell people that, I say I can't impact, impact it, I keep looking up here because it's sunny over there, and I'm looking to see how the time is doing. I'm pretty good at these, but... Um, so again, what we'll do is we'll reset his biological computer so that he defaults to a different operating system uh, so that he can have more fun in his life. And we have a lot of fun together. He's brilliant, uh, smart, 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 and a great sense of humor. And we laugh a lot when we're together. And that's, I think, what attracted us years ago, and that's what keeps us friends over the years. So um, I'm going to keep trying to formulate this, as I have. Uh, if you're living a good life and you get a sense that it can be better, I can't motivate you to a different place of living, nor would I try. I don't like motivation. Yeah, but uh, the learning method I work with is profound and different, and if I can convey it, I will figure it out. www.micpeakperformance.com